Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. Good morning, Jamie here with today's, this week's block of the week. This week, we're, I'm going to show you how you can create an industry news page for your website using the RSS block. And this is an example of one I've just built here. This is bringing in some um, news, but I've also built one on my website, which basically lets people consume the best WordPress news out there. This is all automatic and dynamic. It's a free block that comes with a block editor. It's called the RSS block, and here we go. Right, before we get into actually using the block, a quick explanation of RSS, which stands for really simple syndication. Well, that's the simplest term it stands for. But essentially what it means is that any WordPress website or any website that adheres to this standard will free up its content to let other websites consume it. The idea is interoperability between website content. And the great news is if you're using WordPress, your website is already creating an RSS feed without you having to do anything. So it's your post content, that's what we're talking about here. So every single WordPress website in the world creates its own little RSS feed. So other websites can then consume your um, content easily or display your content or other computer systems can display your content easily. That's the idea. So if you go to any WordPress website, this is my website, put the website address and put a forward slash feed after the end of it, you will see actually the RSS feed of your website. Here's mine. And it's basically a bunch of code. Okay. But other, other uh, systems can then consume that code in an intelligent way. So if you have a WordPress website, your website is already producing RSS or other WordPress websites in your industry are already producing RSS. So you can then basically consolidate their content onto your site because they want you to they want you to do this. But there are also other places out there that produce RSS feeds. So the BBC is a good example. The BBC uh, produces a whole bunch of RSS feeds that then, they, that, that then you can consume or display on your website. These are the ones listed here. Let me make this a bit bigger for you. So you've got top stories, world, UK, business, politics, health, education of family, science and technology. Uh, so each of these are basically feeds that you can then dynamically import into your website. So here's two examples that I built. This is actually one I built using just the RSS block and I'm gonna show you how I built this in a few minutes. Uh, this is bringing in the BBC News, and this is the other example that I actually built on my own website. Again, just using the RSS block to bring in uh, the best WordPress blog that I personally follow. So if you, and I'll put a link to this on 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 the um, in the description below. So if you don't want to keep track of some of the the people that I view to be the kind of thought leaders out there in the WordPress space, you can keep keep up to date. And these these automatically updates so every time somebody publishes a new post on their website. I don't have to do anything. These just automatically update for me. And you can see they, they go on down here and we've got some really cool, I find it a really useful resource anyway, actually, my own website. So I go back here and if I, if I, I don't have to go to each person's website to check on it, I can just go to this page and I can see what, you know, what's going on in the WordPress world. But I think this is a great idea for your own website. So if you want to create like um, best, of, best of industry news on your website, I think it could be a real attraction to draw people back into your website in a really simple way. And it's super easy to set up, doesn't take long at all. This is how it works. So this is um, this is the RSS block. Let me show you just how this works. And this is the one I just built. So what I'll actually do is just jump into this page here. Let's just delete this heading, this enormous heading that I've got. And let me just basically uh, recreate this sort of page here. Now again, if you want to do this on your own sites, you can go to other people's websites and just a reminder, you just go to their website address and stick feed in afterwards. And that's gonna show you basically the RSS feed just to make sure it's working. Let me, let me just show you how this works on this site so if you want to use this. So all we're gonna to do to start with is click the blue add block sign and we're gonna search for RSS. And there it is, there's the RSS block, which is just a free block that comes with the block editor. Let me add it into the page. And then it's just going to ask you to put in a URL here. So if I put a URL in for my own website, let's go back here, sorry. Put, um, let's go back here and just copy that URL up there. So it's just the website address followed by feed. And then all you do is paste that in and then that will automatically bring in 
you know the last few posts from that website now over on the right here you have some settings to configure a few things so you can change the number of items so you know you can bump that up if you want to show more items and it's just going to automatically pull those in for you you can display the author display the date and whether you want to show the excerpt or not and then the length of the excerpt so you've got some nice options here to configure it you also have an option up here for grid view so if you want to show that in a nice grid you can also do that as well so you can play around you can play around with how you want to display this but remember this is just one feed from one website so me personally I like to keep this nice and simple just so people can read the headlines in the list view that they can just read the headlines um, and the same with the BBC so if you wanted to nab maybe the top stories from the BBC you just go here now they have a slightly different format for their feeds but again you just copy that that's what we're after the URL at the top there and then pop pop that into your uh, RSS block so you add a new block every time you want to add a new different feed okay that's all you do in there like so and that will automatically bring in the latest news from the BBC so hopefully you can see that this is a really uh, powerful block and you can also do extra things you know you can start to almost create your pages like little mini newspapers so here's an example let me just show you quickly how I built this one so you can start to style these RSS feeds so they look like almost like magazines but they're dynamically producing this content for you all the time so in this one all I did let me just show you how I built this I've got three RSS feeds essentially one two three uh, which are bringing in different um, bits of content here so this is the main news one from the BBC this is the tech news one and you see when I click on it it tells me it tells me here uh, the actual RSS URL so if you want to change the you know the feed you just click on the block um, and click on that little pencil icon there that, made, that lets you edit the URL and then all I've done with this one I've got a two column layout in fact let me let me recreate this from the start so you can see how I did this so I added my columns block like so and then I added this layout here so 30 70 layout and then this over here I added the RSS block and I just added this let me just nab that feed there like so okay and then I just put a heading at the top really basically so I just added a heading above it like so let's just add a heading for you uh, BBC I'll just call this BBC for speed and then I moved that up okay so that's my heading now this column slightly different because we've got this nice background uh, behind it and again this is where the group block comes in so handy for us so what I did here I added the RSS block and let me just use the same URL for now uh, but what I did then I transformed it into a group block and that lets it lets me add basically styling to it so this is a great technique when you're trying to add styling to blocks that don't potentially have the styling options over here in the um, customizer panel transform it into a group block by clicking on this little icon here transform it to a group okay and now because it's a group block we can actually add a background color okay now the other thing I did here um, with this block is I added a few extra things uh, obviously I added a heading here but the other thing I did um, I actually added a little bit of CSS styling I may have done the block there we go so I've added that little class there to the actual RSS block itself okay so you click on the block add your CSS class and I'll just I'll just put the code in for you so if you just want to <coughs> replicate this exactly you can and then when that's published can you see how it's added um, some padding around it and it's changed the text to white now in the customizer here this is where we actually add styles to that class that we added so I go additional CSS and you can see all I've done here is I've added um, yeah this is what I've done so I've added uh, a link color to be white so the links are now white and I've also added some padding around it just to give it a bit of um, space to breathe but again you know you can style these however you like uh, but there we go that's the RSS block I think it's a really useful block if you want to create I think specifically for use a you know a useful links page on your website or a supercharged useful links website um, page on your website or an industry news page on your website which is going to draw people back into your website on a daily basis 
So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you want to see more Gutenberg block editor tutorials, hit the subscribe button and I will see you very soon.